students today we are going to start with standard a subject physics the chapter is light energy we had already discussed regarding refraction the laws of refraction image formation by using a spherical mirrors concave and convex mirrors now in this video we will include the topic refraction through a glass slab and refraction through a glass prism so let us discuss in detail refraction through a glass slab first here as you can see there is a glass slab as we are discussing on a piece of paper so it is a two dimensional figure only it is a thick glass slab whose all corners we have named as a b c and d so here we have taken a b c d as four corners now we had drawn one normal over here and this is the incident ray that falls on the glass slab and it enters from the rarer medium that is air to the denser medium that is glass when it enters it will bends towards the normal that is the refracted ray and the angle formed with the incident ray and normal is known as angle of incidence and the angle formed with normal and the refracted ray is the angle of refraction now the ray of light as glass slab is a transparent medium will come out as emergent ray it comes out of the glass as an emergent ray again from denser to the rarer medium so the angle formed between the emergent ray and the normal is known as the angle of emergence now if we will produce the incident ray this is our incident ray straight forward and the emergent ray it is always parallel to each other the incident ray and the emergent ray is parallel to each other and that means there is a displacement this is our incident ray and when the ray emerges out then there is a parallel displacement that takes place between the incident ray and the emergent ray now what will happen that this displacement is known as the lateral displacement so the terms that we had discussed here that is angle of incidence angle of refraction angle of emergence lateral displacement that is the displacement takes place between the original incident ray and the emergent ray moving on to the next topic that is refraction through a glass prism here as we have taken again on a piece of paper so we have drawn a triangular face only through which we can see the reflection of light actually the prism is made up of how many faces there are three triangular faces rectangular faces are there and two triangular faces are there that we will discuss in detail about the prism as you can see this is a prism where we are having how many faces one this rectangular face this one another rectangular face this one is the another rectangular face and the front face and the back face are the two rectangular uh, triangular faces so incident light incident can be incident on either this face or this face any of the face and that passes through enters through the prism and refraction takes place so these are the these are these two are the refracting surfaces okay and from here we will see from this face we will see that how the refraction takes place so let us proceed with the refraction through a glass slab here again we'll take an incident ray here again we will take an incident ray 
here is the incident ray here is the normal then when the ray of light enters it refracts it's bent towards from its path and that will form the refracted ray here we are having the refracted ray and after entering through the glass slab it will emerges out so here along with the normal it will form the angle of emergence so here we have angle of incidence this is our angle of refraction and here we have angle of emergence to the diffracting surfaces meet at a point there will get the angle of prism and when the incident ray is moved forward and the ref in re emergent ray is moved backward will get the angle of deviation that is denoted by small d okay now let us discuss forward that what is the relationship between what is the relationship between the angle of incidence angle of emergence angle of deviation this is our angle of deviation between angle of deviation and angle of prism so the relationship between angle of incidence that is angle of incidence plus angle of emergence is equals to angle of prism plus angle of deviation so this is the relationship we need not have to prove that that you will do in higher classes now we have to find out the relationship between angle of incidence angle of emergence angle of prism and angle of deviation now we will study about the another phenomenon that is dispersion of light that is dispersion of light what it is that as you can see here the incident ray that falls on the refracting surface that enters to the glass prism and after refraction it emerges out with a band of seven colors that means one single white light is breaking into seven colors seven different colors that is the splitting of light so and that splitting of light is known as the process of or the phenomenon of dispersion dispersion occurs mainly because the white light composed of seven different colors as white light composed of seven different colors and each light when enters through the glass prism will travel with different speeds and comes out with different speeds red light deviates the least and so it will deviates the least with less angle with least angle and the violet light deviates the most that is why red forms the top band and the violet forms the bottom band so here we are getting the band of seven color that is known as spectrum and that happens because of dispersion of light